Hello everybody and welcome to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review I'm going to be trying a new product by Jack Harlow. This drink is called Focus. Show the can. It has a nice silver can to it that's reminiscent a lot of 3D's lemonade strawberry flavor that I've had. On the can, it shows the flavor is a pineapple. Shows SpongeBob's house. Here's the ingredients to this beverage. Zero sugar focus. I hope the uh, camera can focus. So the first thing that I'm noticing about this beverage before I even drink this is despite this being sold as an energy drink at vitamin shop the ingredients in this are only reverse osmosis sparkling water natural flavors citric acid tea caffeine and l-theanine so it doesn't seem like there's much to this beverage which is not a good sign there is no anything in this the can is not even 12 ounces 11.5 ounces and this only has 75 milligrams of caffeine. First thing I'm going to say is, does this even count as an energy drink at 75 milligrams of caffeine? I don't know, but I'm reviewing it and I'm going to put this in the energy drink section of my reviews. So today it does count. So if you do not know who Jack Harlow is, like me, because you do not listen to popular rap music and you don't listen to the radio... He is essentially White Drake. His music is very popular, very inoffensive, and it's mostly just like dance music for people, I guess. I don't He doesn't have much of a uh like a personality, but I mean he's just like clean white rapper guy. So with that said, I hope that this energy drink is able to give him some personality that after I drink this, maybe I'll listen to some Jack Harlow music. Maybe I'll go down a rabbit hole of popular rap music and learn who Little Nas X is. So there are three different flavors of this energy drink. There's a pineapple, there's an orange, and there's something else, which I do not remember. Pretty sure it's strawberry. So with all that said, I think there's a pour because there's honestly nothing to talk about in terms of this energy drink. There's, this is nothing to this. There's no ingredients. This is going to be the cleanest energy drink I've ever reviewed. Soon I'll just take a caffeine pill and drink some water and say that that counts as an energy drink. So after doing the gimmicky stolen salt bay pour, first thing that I'm noticing with this is there is a lot of carbonation to this. Hold this up. This looks like if you were to be looking outside at night, looking up at the stars and seeing how cool it looks up in space. But instead of doing that, you're looking at a clear beverage out of a wine glass, looking at the carbonation. It does look pretty cool. has no color to it whatsoever. See what it smells like. Now it does have a very strong, distinct pineapple smell, which is very good because it means that even though there may not be much flavor to this, it will taste at least decently pineapple-ish. I'm going to give this my first sip and let you know if this tastes as good as it smells. Ooh. Now, what I'll say that's interesting about this beverage is this is a carbonated sparkling water that has caffeine in this. This isn't, this isn't a energy drink by any means. 
It's just this is literally just a sparkling water with caffeine in it with not much flavor whatsoever. Even the carbonation that I said was cool disappeared. So, I mean, how how do you even review something like this? This is like reviewing a flavorless sparkling water. I think the way that I'm going to review this is by talking about Jack Harlow's music. So Jack Harlow was popular because he made a song called Tyler Hero about popular sixth man of the year basketball player for the Miami Heat. Now, Tyler Hero is no longer well-liked by the Miami Heat, mostly because they're trying to win a championship and they're trying to trade him away for an all-star. And I think I think uh, Jack Har- uh, Harlow was also in a movie called White Men Can't Jump. So he likes basketball. So why don't I just review this by using a basketball reference? If you are on a basketball court and you're given one of these drinks, should you take a shot and give this an attempt? Like Tyler Hero at the three-point line? I think that you should possibly just take a pass and not actually try this. Because honestly, if you're going to be drinking a sparkling water, you want something that tastes not very acidic. Now, what's happening is the caffeine is hitting the sparkling water, giving it a very gross taste. Now, the pineapple does not exist. I'll pour a little bit more out just to just to give it a second second chance. Yeah, I mean the carbonation doesn't even stay long enough for this to be a carbonated water like a sparkling water type drink. I'm getting no pineapple taste really. I'm just getting pure um caffeine pill mixed with water taste. Jack Harlow, you're letting your fans down with this beverage. I mean, you want to be the cool guy? There's so many rappers that have energy drinks. Little John had uh, the crunk drink, which I don't know if that was actually his drink, but that was a good tasting beverage. It was a pomegranate beverage. It had horny goat weed and skullcap in it, so it was used for male enhancement. You had Pimp juice, which I think is still sold in Australia. The bizarre thing is, if I were to think 10 years ago, who should have gotten an energy drink that's a a rapper, a white rapper specifically? I think that 10 years ago, you could have given somebody like Hoodie Allen a uh, FaZe Clan-inspired 360 no-scope Call of Duty flavor. I think that five years ago, you could have gotten a little peep emo flavor, you know, made it red like blood or something like that. But in terms of Jack Harlow getting his chance at being the the white rapper with an energy drink, I, I think that this this just falls incredibly short, not just as a energy drink, but a, this is an insult to water. If you were going to drink water, you want to be hydrated. Caffeine is gross tasting. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know how to review this because I'm reviewing this is water. If I were to review water, I'd give it a 10. You need it to live. It makes up the oceans. It makes up all the water. Fish live in it. But uh, they don't live in water with caffeine in it. I want to give this a 2 out of 10. I don't think that you should try this, honestly. I think that if you want to try something like this, go to any store, pick up a 12-pack of sparkling water and drink that. Tastes better than this. This is by far the worst energy drink I've ever had. I feel bad reviewing this and uploading this onto the internet, but I do think people should know that... uh, There is a Jack Harlow energy drink, and it is literally just caffeine, very little caffeine, but caffeine nonetheless, 
in sparkling water with no flavor to it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot because I sure learned to look at the ingredients of beverages for clean energy drinks before I buy them next time. So have a great day. Cheers.